In this video, we are going to learn six keys for effective training. Check it out. So for every module or uh, training tool that we are going to roll out to our disciples and those we are training, there are six essential components that we need to have with every single module. So the first is the introduction. And when you get up to train any tool, you want to have a very short introduction. So this is going to be the time frame in which it is trained. So there is also a question for each of these to help you develop a module. So if I'm going to get up and share an introduction, what is the title of that tool I'm about to train? So I'm going to be going back and forth with an example here on a module of how to share our testimony. So if I'm going to train people in how to share their testimony, maybe the first thing I'm going to say when I stand up in front of people is, today we will learn how to share our testimony of how we began following Jesus. So that's very brief, very short. That's the introduction. The second thing is we need to figure out what Bible study. We always want to root our tools in the Word. So not only what passage that we're going to study, but what are they going to discuss? What are the questions they're going to discuss to uh, have a biblical foundation for what this tool we are about to train them in? And so going back to the illustration of testimony, um, so the passage that we're going to study today is from Acts 26. 1 through 29. Read this passage and ask the following questions. What was Paul's life like before Christ? How did Paul meet Christ? And what does Paul's life look like since meeting Christ or now? So I'm going to give you about 15 minutes to study this passage, Acts 26, 1 through 29, and ask the following questions. Paul's life before Christ, how he met Christ, Paul since Christ, go. So you're going to give them a long time to study whatever passage that you have picked for that tool and what questions they're going to ask. So introduction, Bible study and discussion. You want to give them a long time to uh, discover. And this is adult learning style. You're not just teaching people what to do. You're teaching them really a new way of thinking and trying to shift a paradigm in their mind. And the only way to do that is really to take them to the Word and let them discuss and discover from the Bible um, what they are trying to uh, learn to implement. So the next thing you want to do after they have a long time um, in the Bible passage asking the questions is you want to get up and model something simple and memorable. And so the question here is, what is the tool? So when we go back to testimony, the tool that we train people is we have them draw a clock, we draw an arrow before, we put a cross in the center and a arrow forward and then a question. So we teach people this simple pattern here and I would get up and say, hey, there was a time in my life that I used to be really broken and far from God. So that's my two characteristics before following Jesus. But then I heard about Jesus and I began to follow him. So heard about, began to follow. Since then, Jesus has filled my life with purpose and with joy. Do you have a story like that? So I would get up and I would model this very briefly. So short modeling time. What is the tool? The tool is, is the 15 second story. <laughs> what is, there's a time in my life, my life before Jesus, how I came to know Jesus, my life since Jesus. And, and do you have a story like that? That is the simple tool that I'm going to model. Now, maybe it's not a tool, maybe it's a, a story, maybe it's hand motions, maybe it's an illustration, whatever it is, you want to model this very briefly, and then again, you have a long period where they practice and they make a plan to implement. So for the practice, you want to ask, well, what style, how much time do they need? For practicing the testimony, I have them pair up and practice for two minutes. Then I have them change partners and pair up again and practice for two minutes. And I might do this three or four times having them practice so that they can have enough of uh, confidence and competence practicing in with other people 
likely other Christians before they go out and share with non-Christians. So whatever that style is, maybe they're sharing a story, maybe they're needing to draw something out, you want to give them plenty of time and write that down, uh, how much time you need to give them to practice, how many times do they need to switch partners, et cetera, et cetera. Um, make a plan for that before you get up and train it. Um, the final thing is to make a plan. So what is the goal? What are you wanting them to do? So again, if I was training in the module of how to share my testimony, I would ask them at the end, who will you share with in the next seven days? Let's make a plan. Is this somebody on your Oikos map? Is this somebody at your workplace? Is this some somebody that you're going to go out in your neighborhood and share with? But what is the plan? So with every one of the tools that we're going to roll out for our disciples, it's very helpful to have a one-page sheet similar to this and say, okay, this is the tool title. This is the Bible study passage. These are the questions that we want to ask during the Bible study. This is the tool illustration, or maybe it's hand symbols. This is how much time they need to practice, and here's what the goal is to make an action plan. So if you think of these six effective keys for training, we think about a highway, okay? In order to get down the highway toward our destination, which is hopefully more leaders being raised up to reproduce the Great Commission, to reproduce disciples, to reproduce churches, to impact lostness. If this is the highway, we want to take the long road, okay? We don't want to take shortcuts. So Maybe it is going to take additional time for a longer Bible study. Maybe it is going to take additional time for practice. Well, if you skip out on the Bible study and you skip out on practice, what are you left with? You're left with maybe something that they can't reproduce. Maybe because they don't have a foundation of that tool in the Word. Maybe because they didn't have enough time to practice. A lot of times when we maybe think that the people we are discipling are not reproducing something, it might not be because the tool is bad, or it might not be because um, the Bible study is bad. Maybe we have just skipped one of these things. Maybe we didn't give them enough time to practice. Maybe we didn't root it in the Word. Maybe we didn't have a good discussion questions. Maybe we didn't model the entire tool in a simple way that can be reproduced. Maybe we just got up and we preached for an hour and then they, they didn't know to do anything. Um, and so they didn't have anything to reproduce. So just ask yourself the question, with all of your modules that you, tra that you train in your dis discipleship process in field one, in field two, field three, field four, field five, is there a simple format, a simple introduction? Is there a Bible study that goes with it? Is there discussion questions? Do you have something that you're going to model for them that's very brief that they can reproduce? How long do they need to practice that? And what's the ultimate goal? What are you wanting them to do with it? So this is the six keys for effective training. And I hope that you would take your training toolbox and push it through this filter and ask yourself, have you been able to narrow down all the tools you're training into six effective keys so it can be reproduced until there's no place left?